following thread is courtesy of the instigator on Twitter. So this is what he said. This is what the court heard about Tabo Besta's escape today. Sinohe Matsuara is the man who brought Kakile Kovereng's body into Mangawong Correctional Center, which was later burnt in Tabo Besta's cell. He's the man who was involved in, the ev in every move of the escape. So Dr. Nandipa's father, Zolani Sekeleni, on the 27th of April 2022, went to OR Tambo and hired a car. And two days later, on the 29th, Matsuara showed up at the prison, driving the same car with a corpse in it at around 5 p.m., pretending to be reporting for work. The body, Dr. Nandipa, is the one who claimed the body, pretending to be helping Zimbabwean guy Zanda Moyo to bury his brother. The body was then taken to Tusanong Mortuary, and the mortuary was going to bury the corpse. Held a fake funeral in phase two, this is where Matswara now took the body from. When police dug up the grave inside the coffin, there were three packets of 10 kgs um, bags of millimil. How did the body finally get into the prison? At the gate, there was Buti Masugela. You could not just get in without a pass unless seniors approve it. Matsuara managed to go past the gate without a pass. He wasn't even searched by Masugela and in the car was a TV stand. The same culprits Masugela and Matsuara helped each other to offload the TV stand and the dead body. The vehicle then left the Mangawong Correctional Center. Then comes in Deboho Lipole the following day, which is the 30th of April now. He grabbed the body, tossed it into a trolley dustbin, pretending like he was cleaning the prison yard. He left the body at Broadway. This is where single cells are located at Mangawong. Funny enough, Matsuara was the supervisor, but it didn't work at night. Then he suggested and requested to work for a shift of another supervisor who was supposed to be on duty on the 2nd of March. There was an inmate who complained of short breath, so Matsuara instructed an official stationed at Broadway to attend to the inmate. The official tried to tell the boss he couldn't leave Broadway unattended, but Matsuara was more senior and had the final say. An alarm was then raised on Broadway um, that cell 35 was Tabo Bester's cell and was on fire. Matsuara had called Lipole on the 2nd of May requesting a meeting. They met and collected the body from the dark room and placed the body in the famous cell 35 Tabo Bester stayed in. Matsuara, being the chief friend of Tabo Besta, was on the scene faking putting out the fire, but the entire time he was on his phone and other officials jumped in and helped out to put out the blaze. Tabo Besta was then given a G4S uniform to wear and walked out of Mangawong Correctional Center wearing the uniform like an official accompanied by Lipole. Prior to Besta leaving the prison, Lipole had disconnected the CCTV cameras so that Tabo Besta could use the same doors he used to enter Broadway to exit Broadway this time around. Instigator says that it makes sense why Lipole called the police on Besta and told the police his involvement in the escape because he never got the balance that was owed to him. Remember that initially he had been promised 2.5 million rands by Matwara for his role in the escape, but then he was only paid 40,000 rands, so that was not enough. So probably that could have been the reason why he snitched because they were refusing to pay him his balance. It says that Tabo Besta was making transfers into Matsuara's bank account himself. The first payment was 20000 followed by several deposits. After that, the payment started in April 2022. So it makes sense how Besta was operating in the prison because remember, we heard that he was working with celebrities and influencers and he was paying these people. He was buying cars for these influencers. So he definitely had control of bank accounts even while still locked up. So all of this is courtesy of the instigator on Twitter, but he also credits Slindelo Masigane for such a detailed account of the court proceedings today. Now, we know that the bail applications have been postponed to the 16th of May when everybody will be there, including Nandipa's father, Nandipa herself, and the real culprit, 
tabo pesta now thank you so much for watching you guys please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't press your notification bells and i'll catch you on my next one